All right, guys, you asked for it. We're in the 90s room. Let's, I, I oof. Oh, guys. Yo, everybody, it is Rock with the Great coming to you with another video. Now, in today's video, we are finally going to, phone. So in today's video, we are finally going to give you guys what you want. You've been asking for it. Now, I've been sick, believe it or not. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been uploading older videos that I never posted yet. So luckily, if you're a YouTuber, you should know this. You always film a few extra videos just in case anything ever happens. You have some stuff that you can post so you don't miss out on posting when you're a YouTuber. So I had a few videos that have been posting up and uh, I'm recovering right now. I'm, I'm, I'm almost better now that I'm going to be talking. I'm realizing maybe I'm not going to sound the best, but I, I, I'm better and I'm getting better. And uh, I'm recovering right now, so I thought I would finally, I can't go out and do a toy hunt, I can't go do another toy review. I thought I would finally give you guys the room tour, and not only am I going to give you a room tour of this room, but everyone has been asking for the 90s room tour, so we will be doing a little sneak peek of the 90s room in today's video. So please guys, hit that like button if you can, support this video a lot, my videos I uh, haven't been able to pump them out like how I used to. So uh, hitting the like button and, and you know, getting the, the comments down in this video really will help me right now. I need your help, guys. I'm, uh, listen, I'm sick and I'm still posting content for you guys. Uh, let's take a look in this room and then we're going to take a look in the 90s room. The first peak ever. Uh, I know you guys have been asking for it. I'm excited. Let's get right to it. All right, so the room is a little mess right now. I had so much stuff, like I get free things from companies and everything, and I'm going through everything. This had boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. So guys, bear with me. Um, it doesn't look, hey, I had to move him out of the way because he just takes up way too much room. So first, the detoff, we're gonna take a look at, we have my Fat Cap Joe uh, diorama right here. We have the Camp Crystal Lake, those I made custom. There's reviews up on the, the YouTube channel. I made uh, that electrode. That's actually up on the YouTube channel as well, how to make your own. We have some Harry Potter um, Patronas up there, right? Patronus, Patrona, um, Pasta Patron. We have. Uh, Harry Potter, so my, these shelves up here are all mixed. I'm, people always say like I collect everything and I really kind of do. So you guys are going to see like a bunch of my loves in these rooms that I'm going to be showing you. And a lot of these uh, are missing pieces because when I do toy photography, what I'll do is I'll snatch a few people out. As you can see, there's like Umbreon is missing and there's some figures that are missing because I'm doing toy photography in my studio with them. So um, we have Snorlax, Team Rocket, some Ash, some Pokemon stuff. Now this is all random because I moved my horror shelf into my 90s room. Um, so this is kind of leftover of my horror shelf and then my 3A uh, Ashley Wood Die Antwerp figures, which I love. These were my grails one day to get. Like, I was, these were grails so hard for me, and I finally pulled the trigger. I love Die Antwerp, and I love 3A, and I love Ashley Wood. It was a match made in heaven. Perfect. Um, more of the 1 6 scale. I have my, my, <clears throat> my 1 6 scale Leon, and then I have my 1 6 scale Alice. I actually love, love, love the original, uh, Resident Evil movies. I love 1 and 2. I can't actually remember past one and two, but one and two, I will defend and I will stand up for those really awesome. Now, this is another shelf that got split down here is, uh, used to be all my plant. Well, not all, but a lot of my planet of the Apes stuff. And now I just have the newer planet of the Apes stuff on this side. Um, this is cool. This is an autograph. I, I Ooh. Oh, guys, my Stormtrooper just fell, and it probably smashed something. Not good. Oh, that's good. It's only, uh, it only broke, you know, my, uh, authentic, uh, replica mask. That's okay. All right, cool. See, that's the thing about this room. Uh, this has, like, those, those hardwood floors, but underneath it's, like, springy. And that's why I never fully committed to the shelving and stuff in this room is 
if you walk near something, it shakes. And then this thing falls all the time. And if you walk near any of these shelves, all of the stuff fall in them. So it's just, it's a big mess. I got to do something about it. Uh, back here is Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Sword and Shield game store, uh, GameStop dis store displays. I love collecting those. So those two are just back there. Um, here, yeah, let's we'll start down here. Hopefully the Stormtrooper doesn't fall on me again. Um, here's just my alien one. I had all the different aliens and Prometheus and everything. And I decided like <clears throat> one and two are like my favorite, but I think I'm only going to display the one. I think when you overcrowd these shelves, they, they look, uh, not so good. So I have my alien one display. Yes, I do own a Funko pop. I found that at the thrift store one day and it's Ripley. So she's an exception, you know, you make exceptions. Um, here is one of my favorite shelves. I love Planet of the Apes. And here's my little Planet of the Apes. There's some Metacom mixed with the NECA figures. So I just had to have that, I love those. Here's another one I love, Harry Potter. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Hun and I are actually sick home right now, so we actually have been re-watching these. And uh, I gotta give a shout out to one of my channel members. Those toy junkies actually sent me Hermione. He knew I was l looking for him. Um, but I love this little, the figure arts. There's so many different toy lines over the years. I wish we would just get the definitive toy line. They, they never seem to do well, because I guess it's a girl's property, even though plenty of boys like it. They just, they never go in. They always make cutesy, girly looking figures. And it's like, there's boys that like Harry Potter too. It's basically nerd stuff, uh, if you think about it. The McFarlane figures are pretty cool. The Voldemort is awesome. But that line, that line died in its tracks as well. So really cool. I love the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, I wish we could have a bigger shelf. Now, here we go. <laughs> now, like I was saying before, there's big, there's going to be big chunks missing. Like my dragon, uh, my Charizard was back there. My figure arts ash. Those are, I'm doing toy photography in the studio right now. So those are missing. Uh, this is usually much more full. Now, here's a cool shelf. All this stuff up here is some of the, the early stuff I got to my P.O. box by supporters of the channel. So we have like Real Shift, actually, you guys know him from Toy Talk Live. He actually sent me this. So that holds like a big uh, thing to me. We just have, and we just have some cool stuff from people right here. Um, what's it called? Action Customs, another channel member sent this. Um, we have a little Gina Carano area, I guess. Um, here's my my famous Spice Girls doll. If you guys watch the live streams, you know exactly the story behind that. And uh, someone else sent this Charizard Lego set in. Now, this is a really cool... Hold on, let me show behind here this Rock of the Great Live. Um, here are some of my, like, in-box things that I love. Now... Right before Pokemon went super crazy again, like it goes in waves, right? It's like people love it. It goes away. People, the hype, the hype, the hype. Um, I got this on Macari. It's complete. Got everything in there. Pretty nice condition too. Um, and I got this for like 40 or 60 bucks. Now this is worth a few hundred. And it was right before that big push with the Koof and like everyone got back into Pokemon, all the celebrities, Logan Paul, all that stuff. So uh, I really, I, I really cha-chinged right there. Then I have my Resident Evil 2 on PlayStation. And this, uh, someone actually traded me a little while ago before the Koof as well. So uh, I'm really happy to have these two. I want to replay this ASAP. Um, then I have my Pokemon um, Pokedexes. I have two of them, which is great. And I have the White Tiger Zord back there. So let me cover this up again. Now, here's a cool display. I actually got the NECA Alien Queen, so I might swap this out. This is the McFarlane one. I have a Ripley, Newt, Bishop with the eggs right down here. Here's one of uh, another another favorite of mine. Wow, you really can't see with all these lights going on here. Hold on, let me shut this. There you go. So here is another one of my favorite is the Hasbro uh, Power Ranger line. I think it's the best Hasbro the best Power Ranger line that we'll ever get for the price point. I have a few more putties too. They're not here. I love these. This is one of my favorite shelves as well. Hold on. Oh yeah, look at that. Three turtle in disguises right there. Nice. 
my my red shoes I've never even worn yet. Um, this is uh, God, the glare is really horrible. Can you guys see that? There you go. Can you guys see that a little bit? But here, this is an expensive shelf. Here are some of my um, Resident Evil figures, new and old, the Palisades and the Toy Biz figures. I love these. Love, love, love Resident Evil. And then down below, hold on, we have my original Zord. Not the, or the original Zord, not my original Zord. I wish I had that. I have Zira and Cornel um, Cornelius and Zira, the hot toy, uh, the sideshow. Guys, remember, I'm, I'm sick right now, so please bear with me. I have a fake sideshow Batman back there. And then I have uh, the Mattel Slimer with the Ghostbusters. Uh, Hasbro figures that I, I, I think are super underrated. I really like those. That is a Taco Bell display for Star Wars. And then here's some cool stuff I like on my walls. Hold on. <sighs> Guys, this is taking a lot out of me, but I'm trying to I'm trying to give that energy back to my videos. So please hit that like button, leave comments. Um, I found this shelf. When I, anytime my neighbors throw stuff out, I take it in. So this is a, a cool shelf that I got from the neighbors. Thank you. And I'm going to start filling that up nicely. I have some Ninja Turtles on here, some cartoon turtles. Nothing's like cool where it's supposed to go. I have some Pokemon cards. Um, I have my life-size Pikachu right here with the Christmas hat on. Then this is one of my favorite things is a store display with Charizard VMAX. And I just hang up some of the Pokemon card packs that I, I like, like with, that have special art on it. So that's really cool. That's from Target. This is my Burger King, Burger King Kids Club um, thing. I really love that, that I have this. I have my Jar Jar head on the wall. This is my character, Fat Cap Joe. You got to have some of your own art on the wall. Then this is my little review station. It's a mess. I'm not going to show it. But up here, I do have some cool stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite artists, Flying Fortress. Here's another one of my artists, uh, favorite artists growing up, this guy named Dai. And uh, when I got older, I actually got to know him and stuff, and he did this for me. See, Stay Great, 777, in pink, really cool. Um, you know, I like to keep stuff up to remind me, like, how far I've come. Um, this I just actually recently got in the mail, and this is amazing. This is a... Umbreon Gold Star 10, and I bought this with Macari credits. So if you guys ever sign up to Macari, link down below. This thing's worth a lot of money already, and I already paid like half that because of your Macari credits. So think about join up to Macari. It's kind of like eBay, but better. And uh, we both get credit if you sign up. Link is always down below. Next is, here's another, this is actually an art print from one of my other favorite artists, Ghost Patrol. And I just have that hanging here, just like to give like the aesthetic. Here are my glasses when we go live, if you guys watch the Toy Talk Lives. And then here is, uh, I'm a big Spice Girls fan, and Lizzie, a channel member, actually sent me in one of these lollipops because she knew I was looking for one. And I just keep these right here because I, it's like so amazing. And then last but not least in this room is something that's really cool. Again, it's a mess. Please, you know, don't don't judge it too hard. But this is a Detective Pikachu display from GameStop. And it has all Pokemon stuff. Here's a letter from Jazzwares Pokemon team that I got. I got a, a thing from them. So I keep that. That makes me feel nice. Um... But look, I just have a bunch of the Detective Pikachu stuff. Uh, I have the the Oreos. Like, this is just all miscellaneous Pikachu, uh, Pokemon stuff. Here's... Wow, these are actually in there. So this is... If I want to eat some Oreos, here's a cereal box right there. All Pokemon stuff. So here's... This is actually... This is an old painting, like, from 2007. I guess I always liked Electrode and, and Voltorb. But I never finished this. All right, let's go to the 90s room. All right, guys, you asked for it. We're in the 90s room. Let's finally go over this thing. Now, uh, first off, I want to just say I have a uh, blow dryer in case I got to do some head swaps. You guys know if you collect WWE figures or Marvel Legends, 
you're doing a lot of head swaps. So first off, we'll start down here. This is one of my like least favorite shelves, but it's the modern day uh, WWE or modern-ish that I care about. Like I have the soft uh, Enzo, I have the Miz. I have that rock, I don't know why he's here. I'm not really a fan of current rock. Um, you have old Seth back there and stuff like that. We had we started AEW figures here, but then I have my AEW figures um, being take uh, like pictures taken of them. So then we have some of the older wrestlers, uh, you know, from the golden era, um, and then I have some Mythic Legions that fell. There's some ones that fell back there, but we have the Mythic Legions right here. Then we have the fun WCW NWO shelf. And uh, Roddy don't belong there. Roddy, I was doing something with all the Roddies with a, a, a review recently, but you could see I have, I had NWO Liz, she fell. Um, I had uh, Ric Flair back there, but just a bunch of NWO guys. You can't have enough of them. Um, then here we go. This is some, the 90s stuff is gonna stay up on the top. So like we have the Charizard, that was uh, hard to find. Uh, Beanie Babies, um, Duncan Yo-Yos. The 90s stuff is staying on the top. Like this is kind of like a uh, like a museum. I'll show all that stuff as we go. So then here's, uh, this is kind of like the anime shelf. We have Berserk, Slam Dunk, Cowboy Bebop, uh, My Hero, One, uh, not One Piece. Uh, I can't freaking think at all. Um, one Punch Man, excuse me. One of my favorite. I love One Punch Man. Definitely one of the best. Uh, I love <clears throat> One Piece too, but their figures are old and expensive. Um, then I don't know what a gorilla is doing there, but we just have a bunch of uh, anime figures. I like them all. Uh, Dragon Slayer was kind of a letdown. A lot of hype. Uh, wasn't really the best. Here's a little bit of my er Attitude Era, I would say. Mixed with just some other... Um, oh, sorry guys, this is taking a lot out of me. Um, this is the Attitude Era shelf. As you can see, there's there's figures back there. If you want to pause. A few custom kit bashes and customs and stuff. Um, and then here's one of my favorites. I have another Resident Evil shelf starting. And this is just some of them. Again, I'm taking pictures of most of these figures. So uh, I can never have enough Leon figures. I think I have like three of those. One of them is the bloody variant, which is cool. Then here's Stranger Things. Again, I was taking pictures of some. So I have the Demogorgon back there and Eleven. And I had a bunch of figures that are, I'm taking pictures of right now. Um, back to here. That is from KFC. The Pokemon KFC stuff. That Vulpix. I found that recently at the flea market last year. And it was just such a big thing for me. Uh, that one was the one I had as a kid. And the Zubat. The Zubat one as well. Um, I actually have a picture somewhere of my old room with Zubat up on the shelf. Then I have an old Godzilla. I have some Zords up there. That's a Tamagotchi in the box original. Um, that's a Yak. I remember those. Here's a, a freaking purple N64. These old. I, I used to love these. My dad would always pick me up and get me uh, one of these from this place called Stop Game. It was like a bootleg GameStop. <laughs> um that i had that wayne manor as a kid that's not the one i had i wish I, I don't have anything left over as a kid um pokemon camera some mighty duck stuff uh biker mice from mars loved that growing up uh pogs some new stuff mixed in that the t-rex up there i have him back there him is one of my favorite bands ever just great memories uh, i found one of these old tvs and i put a bunch of 90s stickers on it i got uh, that's actually Stepdad's Blockbuster card. He let me have that, which is great. Okay. Um, I have some VHSs. Here's a Spice Girl toy. Here's some more Spice Girls toy. Here's some VHSs. <clears throat> Here's some video games and stuff. Another N64. I have N64s all over the damn place. Um, here's some Mythic Legions. 
and mixed with some random stuff. And then up here is pretty cool. I have a, a Furby in the box that's pretty new with the Toys R Us sticker still. I have those glow in the dark lights up at the top as well. If you guys lived in the 90s or the 2000s, you had to have those. Um, got the Ninja Turtles up there. And then here's some cool stuff too. I found these at the flea market as well. Sable and Austin. Just these cool like vintage looking, look at that. I could probably take a picture like of that for the thumbnail, but it's just a, oh, I'm not done yet. Sorry guys. I was going crazy out the top. Here's another Pokemon shelf. Another Pokemon shelf. Again, there's a big Venusaur that's missing right there. I was taking pictures of him. I didn't even get a chance to open. Um, geez, I can't think at all. Launch, it says right there. Sheesh, guys, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, here's my Dragon Ball. Then here's Dragon Ball Z. And here's a Funko Pop. It was a Funko Pop of Dumb and Dumber, so I had to pick it up. Normally, you guys know I'm not a Funko Pop guy. Then here's my Z, uh, my Super, I mean, my Super Shelf, mixed with, I guess, some Marvel stuff up here for no reason. Then over here is some horror stuff. And again, I was using a lot of these figures, so they're all in my studio, because I do toy photography, if you guys couldn't tell from this video. Um, here's some of the hol holiday things. Again, I was using a lot of these. Um, a lot of the shelves are empty, but you guys kept asking for them. So I said, you know what? I just got to freaking do it. Then here's one of my favorite lines, new lines, is the Jurassic Park line. And I have the main guy. I forgot his name. What, Sam? What's the main guy? Alan. Alan Grant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have him missing. I don't know where the heck he is. Now that I'm thinking about it, he's probably, like, lost. I can't even... Right now, my mind breaks just trying to understand and think where he is. But I think I have everyone that came out so far in that line. There's some Marvel movie figures back there. And I think we're done. Um, here's just a bunch of just junk. Uh, like, here's some army builders and stuff for toy photography. Um, I just don't have places for everything yet. It's I gotta get to it. It's it's really messy, but what do you guys think? I finally did it. Next time, it'll probably be a lot cleaner and uh and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think below. Again, I'm sick, so please show love to this video. That it, it didn't I didn't hurt myself in vain. Um, stay great, guys, and we're out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys. We're at the PO box right now, and we have the biggest box. So what the heck is in here? Let's check this. Hey there. Want to send something into the channel? Well, I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up on camera. Guys, let me break in here and just let you guys know about my channel memberships. Say you like the channel, you want to help support, or you just want more content. Becoming a channel member unlocks hours and hours and hours of exclusive content that is just for my channel members think about becoming one and shout out to all the people who are channel members the link is down below in the description you want to become a channel member it'll explain everything it's as low as five dollars a month every little bit helps it all goes back into the channel to give you guys more content